and welcome to the video and thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for joining me today to view my Sol de Janeiro haul which I am so so excited about. You have absolutely no idea. I've been waiting for my order for such a long time. Actually I have had everything that I needed for about a week and a half now. It's just I'm finally sitting down to film my video and my review because I have been using these products. So if you would go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Don't forget to subscribe it would mean so so much to me and let's go ahead and get into the video okay so here is my really really heavy box of goodies I'm so excited to show you what I got in here and we're gonna have a little bit of a backstory as well so this is everything that I got and um yeah it's a lot but I mean it's oh it smells it smells so good in here too, you guys. You have no idea. Okay, so I didn't purchase all of these from Sol de Janeiro specifically. I did make a purchase from Sephora. Um, I made two separate purchases, so we're gonna talk about that separately from what I got from Sol de Janeiro. But let's talk about what spiked my interest in this brand. So I have always heard of their Boom Boom Cream, which I thought was pronounced Bum Bum, because as you can see here, it looks like it's Bum Bum, but it's actually pronounced boom boom and it's supposed to help with like smoothing your skin and making it look perfect yada 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 you know the story if you don't google it I'm not here to tell you the story because then we'd be here all day but I got this in a boxy charm no it was boxy luxe we got two of these in a boxy luxe a little like mini sample travel size and I fell in love with the scent it smells so so good it's pistachio salted caramel we'll get into the notes later on but it smells amazing now this is for your body but I've been using it since it's just a small sample size as a hand cream just so I can smell the scent I've never smelled anything else in my life that I just am so attracted to that I had to make um a really big purchase just for the scent alone um so if that's saying anything um obviously <laughs> I don't just do this ever I don't spend this money on things but I had such an attraction to it that I had to um so ugh. I did it. I spent way too much money. We're not even going to talk about how much money I spent, but I mean, I guess when I tell you the prices, you can break it down yourself, but um, I'm a little embarrassed, so I'm not even going to give you a total. If you guys want to know how much I'm in love with this, if I could choose anyone in the world, any company to send me PR, and it was just one for the rest of my life, it would be Sol de Janeiro all the time, every day. This one, this is the only company I would ever choose to send me PR if I had to choose one company for the rest of my life, and that's the only person person that can send me PR. That would be Sol de Janeiro uh, because uh, I'm in love so bad that I've never made a purchase like this before. Okay, you get the idea. So anyways, I had always seen this in like FabFitFun and other subscription boxes and I was thinking, okay, you know, they're in so many subscription boxes. There's no way it's actually that good that they're just like, they're all over the place. A lot of items that we see in subscription boxes kind of suck when you see like the same company in all these boxes. Not like specifically like companies but as a whole a lot of companies we see repeated or the items that are coming in the boxes it's not very good that's why all these different subscription boxes are getting a deal the product's not good so that's what I was thinking when I got this I was like okay you know what it's been so many subscription boxes it's probably not even that good and I stuck my whole entire foot up my mouth or in my mouth or up my butt um however that term is called or I don't even know what that is called so you guys know what I'm mean this is so good okay hold on let me just put some on my hands because this is supposed to be for your body but you know small hand cream okay so as soon as you rub it in my god your hands feel absolutely amazing they feel smooth they almost feel velvety they feel amazing okay okay and then the smell is heavenly the smell is heaven heaven and I noticed that the lotion scent stays uh, around a lot longer than some of these other products so stay tuned to hear about that so um, let's get on to I'm gonna title this the candle because the name of the candle because I was looking up reviews on the candles before I bought them or just like what the sizes were and I could not find them at whatsoever so here you go here's um, me showing you the candles in this haul just in case that's what you're here for 
were looking for the candles um, because I couldn't find a single video on the candles. But anyways, I'm going to show you one of those purchases that I got from Sephora. So I bought, and this was before I decided to make the big purchase on Sol de Janeiro. Um, I bought two separate items from Sephora. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. This is the 13 fluid ounce and this retails for $25. Now, the most I've ever spent on a shower gel was $10 and it was soap and glory so um <laughs> I did not ever think I would ever pay this much money for a shower gel in my whole life would I buy it again yes but I have a complaint this is my complaint with the shower gel and everything of course I bought it because of the scent now it has the classic boom boom cream scent that pistachio salted caramel scent that I am so drawn to but also it has that smell of soap which is fine it's fine <laughs> Um, but I hate washing my body with this and smelling my amazing pistachio and salted caramel scent and then have that with the soap too. To me it doesn't mix but that's just my personal preference but it still smells so good. I do wish and one reason why I wanted the shower gel was that the scent would last for a while. Like you know how you can get out of the shower and you can smell somebody and you're like wow you smell like you just got out of the shower. I was hoping that I would smell this personally on me throughout like you know the first couple hours after I shower. Unfortunately, I cannot. Other people can smell me, but I guess I can't smell it on myself. I guess I'm just so used to the scent. I don't know. I mean, I can smell the hand cream and everything else, but I personally can't smell it, but I guess it's great for everyone else around me. But that's my only complaint is it's smelling also like soap, which I mean, it's soap. It's obviously got to smell like soap, but I just wish it did it, <laughs> which is a stupid complaint, but whatever. And then the other Sephora purchase I made separately, um, I was going to buy this, um, but it was, it's like $32, I believe. I'll leave the prices down below just in case I get any of them wrong, but Sephora sent me a 20% off your first fragrance purchase. So I was like, okay, so I got 20% off. So this is the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. Now this was before I knew that they had a perfume. I thought it was just the mist. So I bought the mist. Now I need the perfume, which which that's gonna be a later purchase because it's expensive. This is the 8.1 fluid ounce. This is the biggest size that you can get in the mist because I just had to have it. <laughs> so we got the biggest size. So this is what it looks like. You have the Sol de Janeiro logo up here. Let me try and see if you can see that. Not really, but you get the idea. But this is what the body spray looks like. So yeah, it's huge. It's it's big. Now this is the shower gel. This is the biggest size I think you can get in the shower gel, which was 25. This was 32. This is the size difference. So if you have this, you know how big this is. Or if you have this, you know how big this is. So there's the size comparison. Um, And my other complaint is the fact that you spray it and it smells heavenly right it smells exactly like the boom boom cream which that's the scent but again, it doesn't last very long on your skin before it's gone and you find yourself needing another spritz of it because I've been testing it out. Obviously you can tell it's like barely anything is like out of it, but I've just been testing it. But something that I have been doing with this is I'll spritz it on myself once a day and whatever room I'm in, I'll just spritz like a curtain and I will smell the scent for a little bit longer than I do smell on my body. Now, whether or not people can actually smell it on me and I just no longer can smell it like I've gotten used to it I'm not sure about that so far but I do know that you know my personal experience I stopped smelling it after maybe an hour and then I'm like I don't smell it anymore but again I don't know if others can um like the shower gel they can smell it I can't but so far not long and you cannot smell it anymore but I love it regardless now before we get into the candles I'm just going to show you the free items that came so I got a mini makeup eraser which is super cool because makeup erasers are amazing so the fact that I got a mini one is adorable these are like the size of the free samples you can get if you like email them and say hey can I get a sample that's what this is and honestly I am excited to have this and then the other free sample was the perfume this is what the bottle looks like of the perfume by the way but I got the perfume which I haven't used it yet but a little perfume sample oh I am so excited this is gonna be something I'm gonna use on special occasions until I decide that I have enough money and I can afford the perfume so 
I'm so excited about that. And I have spritzed it. it. Smells so good, you guys. It smells like everything else that I bought. Now let's get on with the candles. So here we go. Could not find a review whatsoever. So <laughs> I bought the big candle here. Here's the packaging for the big candle. And then I bought some mini candles. So this one, I believe, was 18 And I think this one was like $48 or $38. I cannot remember. But again, I want to have the prices below. I might even pop them on the screen um just for your convenience but this this one was wicked expensive and i believe this was 18 dollars for one or 12 dollars i think i cannot remember but this small candle has 2.2 ounces of candle wax in here so i bought they had it was one for 18 i believe or one for 12 or three for 36 or 38 so i bought three candles and I think because I had like a high purchase, I got another candle for free. So I got a free candle. So I got four. So I decided since, you know, I want to test the waters. I opened one. This is the packaging. So it just has their logo here on the front and then on the back. And I couldn't find out how long the mini candles were supposed to build. It was I don't know. <laughs> the mini candles were supposed to burn for but this one I cannot remember as well I think it was 72 hours or more or something like that um but I'll have that down below as well but I tested this so the very first day that I burnt this candle I burnt it for five hours and then I burnt it for seven so a total of 12 hours and I have this much left so it burnt about halfway of the candle. So I'm going to say that this candle probably can give you 36 hours if I'm doing my math correctly. No, maybe 24 hours for a candle. This candle, um, I'm going to assume maybe 24 hours or more considering it's a little bit less and I did it for 12 hours. So um, there's that. Either way, just know that this candle is going to last you a hot minute. My only complaint about the scent in the candle is that when you have it in a large room, the small one, it doesn't disperse the fragrance as well. Um, I assume the big candle is going to really, really disperse, disperse the scent, but this one, it took a while for me to fully smell it in my kitchen, living room, and dining room. It's an open floor plan, but it's a small space, so it took a while, and then I had this in my hallway bathroom, but I had it while I was cleaning, and so I had my air vent on, and the smell didn't stay in the bathroom, so if you have this candle in your house and you have an air vent on, like if you have it in your bathroom, don't have the air vent on or it's just going to suck the smell up because I want to just smell the smell not just to have the candle burning so if you're wanting this spending the money because you want the smell and you put this in the bathroom do not have your fan going or it's just gonna suck the scent right up now I had it in my personal bathroom and I had the door shut I had the, the fan off and I let this go for about two hours because I was just like testing it in my rooms that's how obsessed I was and I wanted my house to smell like this so it did stay and I would say the scent stayed and lasted for like two days and that was just two hours of it in my bathroom. So I was so, so excited about that. So thumbs up, keep your bathroom door shut and the scent just for two hours for me lasted two days where I kept going in there and the scent just kept hitting me. I, I keep my bathroom door shut so I think that might have had a lot to do with it, keeping the door shut and keeping that scent in there but it lasted for me for like two days so that's fantastic. Now let's show you what the really big candle looks like, which I think is so cute. Let me just look at how cute the box opens. Okay, let's open up the big daddy. I really cannot believe I spent this much money on candles, but again, I'm obsessed. Now this one, this one has some weight and this one actually feels heavier than like say a Bath and Body Works candle. I don't know what it is, but this one's like, this one's heavy heavy like you can knock someone out with this if you throw it at them so if you get into a fight and somebody's like breaking into your house throw this candle at them and I think you'll be okay <laughs> smells so good you guys um but yeah this is the big big candle it's not that big let's compare it to the small one which I think this one's 12 I think this one's like $38 I don't know it was ridiculous um and let's compare it to the size of my Bath and Body Works candle Everyone has seen a Bath & Body Works candle. Everyone has probably owned one at some point in their life, whether if they bought one or if they got it as a gift. Here's the size comparison. You can stick this candle right in there. So that's 
the size comparison of these candles here. So let me just, yeah, that's if it's, yeah. So that's the comparison of these two candles. Now I do have to say that just the fact that this candle for 12 hours didn't make too much of a dent. I would prefer to buy this one over and over again over Bath & Body Works candles if you guys are Bath & Body Works candles lovers because it's only like 12 hours would make that huge candle under halfway. Like those things burn so so fast. So let me open up one of the small candles so you can see kind of where the wax starts and you can get a better idea. So it's not even all the way to the top as you can see right here. So 12 hours really didn't do much. Actually, now that I'm seeing it, it's like, here's the line here, and then here is the line here. So it actually barely even, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna assume this is probably gonna last even longer than 24 hours, because I didn't realize this wasn't all the way to the top, and it didn't even burn halfway. Well, maybe it did, maybe exactly halfway and not under like I said, but these candles are gonna last you a hot, hot minute. If you constantly burn them or if you just want a quick sit in your house, then burn them with the door shut or a larger space. We're gonna test the waters with this one, but um, I don't wanna really use it all up because I cannot, <sighs> I can't afford to constantly buy these candles, so I don't know what I'm gonna do because I wanna constantly have them. Maybe I'll just like, you know, instead of going out to eat one day, I'll just say, okay, well, I was gonna go out to eat and spend like 80 bucks at Red Lobster, but instead I'm gonna buy a couple of these candles. So I'll like do my figuring like that. So anyways, that is the haul, you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that this gives you some really good information. I'm just gonna keep um, all the information down below on the candles so you guys can like you know read that and get what info you need like the notes I'll have like the top middle and all that thing so that those candle physics um, chemistries I don't know <laughs> in the description and you can just read that instead of having to go to the website um, but anyways that is it for this haul I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned some information and um, I'm very very sorry for your bank account if for some reason you are intrigued and you decide to buy any of this stuff because, um, well, the scent alone is worth it and um, I'm obsessed. Anyways, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!